All right, on with the flag themes. Uh, see one on YouTube, but uh, a ghosted flame, or a ghosted flag. Uh, they used army colors, doing it for the uh, vets and local am vets, I think it was. Uh, I'm gonna try to change it up a little bit and do one for like a breast awareness. So I'm gonna use like a pinks, purples, whites, but then I'm gonna ghost the flag onto it with gold, chrome gold or not chrome gold but just a plain gold finish uh see what kind of kind of finish we get i got a canvas one left over from the aurora lights one about a two pack so i pretty much just spray painted it black there's the colors i got i got a pink got a purple got a white I got a little bit of a peach color and then here's the gold that I'm going to use to uh, do the ghosting of the flames. So I'm going to mix up some resin, get a base coat laid down on the uh, canvas that's painted black. Once I get a base, I'll mix in the spray paint into the other ones and then put it in blotches and then we'll spread it out, hit it with a torch, let it cure, and then I'll make a, a vinyl stencil. Once it's cured, I'll lay it over the top of it. I'll ghost the uh, stars and stripes with the uh, gold paint, peel it off, and then I'll probably put a top coat of uh, epoxy over the top of it. So let's get started. All right, uh, it's not quite 70 degrees in the shop today, so I gotta. I got them mixed up and I got them sitting in front of a heater. Just kind of warm them up. Should be all right. I'm hoping it's all right. Put the first layer down and it'll be all the clear coat. I'm gonna torch over it, get the bubbles out of it as best I can. Then I'm gonna take and set up three different cups, four different cups, and pour some epoxy in each one of them, spray some spray paint into it, and then I'll pour it in spots under the, uh, under the canvas. And then I'll use a brush to break the edges, kind of mix it together. And then I'll probably use a hairdryer to blow it around a little bit to get it to blend together, kind of, so there's no hard edges of the uh, certain colors. So we'll get it mixed up. I'll get you guys set up for you to watch and we'll go from there. All right, so there's the uh, first coat. I think you can pick up the shine, how glassy it looks. So now we'll uh, mix, mix up the uh, four spray paint colors, and then we'll do those in blotches, spread them around with a hairdryer, and then hit them with a torch. We'll let it cure, and then once it's cured, we'll get the stencil on it and get it ghosted with the uh, gold paint. So set you up and watch some mixing. I'll set you up and watch me mix up the paint.
All right, so I didn't decide to use the one color. It doesn't really go with the theme. Uh, so I'll let this cure fully. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with the torch a couple of times just to get any air bubbles that I can't see and that'll show up. Let it cure and then we'll uh, get the stencil light on it. We'll ghost it with some flame or uh, some gold. Kind of heads it on the color. I may, I may ghost it with like a, a purple or something just to make it stand out a little bit more. Gold doesn't really go with it. Uh, so we'll check it out and we'll see what we can do. All right, so taking, taking the night, toying around my vinyl cutter and whatnot. Didn't think the flag ghost effect would look right with this. So instead I'm just gonna lay a stencil that I made for the breast awareness, breast cancer awareness uh, logo. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. And I might toy around with just barely spray painting the pink edges so it kinda is ghosted into it a little bit. But I'll get you set up, get the stencil peeled off, and we'll, we'll get to seeing what it looks like. All right, not the prettiest stencil work, but I gotta fix it with some tape. We'll get it masked off, and then we're gonna ghost it in and see what it does. Well, it's not quite ghosted, but I kind of like the effect. So I'm going to put it down in the sun, let it cure, put another coat of uh, clear coat over the top of it, smooth it out with a uh, hair dryer, let it cure overnight, and then put it up on the, uh, on the website for sale. the epoxy mixed up I'm gonna pour it on top of it smooth it out with a hair dryer and uh, we'll let it cure up I'll get some pictures uh, taken and we'll get it up on YouTube and appreciate you guys watching and remember like it subscribe it give me some thoughts